Have you ever imagined a world where every African city thrives on clean, limitless energy? Across the continent, millions wake up each day to the harsh reality of power shortages. In rural villages, children study under flickering kerosene lamps, their futures dimmed by energy poverty. Urban hospitals struggle to keep life-saving equipment running during frequent blackouts. Small businesses lose revenue daily as diesel generators guzzle expensive fuel just to keep operations afloat. This energy crisis isn't just an inconvenience. It's a barrier to Africa's economic and social progress. Fossil fuels, the current stopgap solution, are choking cities with pollution and deepening climate vulnerabilities. But what if there was a way to break free from this cycle of scarcity and environmental harm? Enter Maxwell's generator, a breakthrough technology designed to harness Africa's abundant natural energy. Unlike traditional power systems, it doesn't rely on finite resources like coal or oil. Instead, it taps into renewable sources available in even the most remote communities. The science behind it is elegantly simple, yet its potential is nothing short of revolutionary. By converting kinetic energy from wind, water, or even human activity, it generates electricity efficiently. Its modular design allows it to scale from powering a single home to energizing an entire city grid. In Lagos, a pilot project has already lit up a neighborhood once plagued by daily outages. Market vendors no longer worry about spoiled goods, and students can study long after sunset. In Nairobi, a hospital running on Maxwell's generator has cut its energy costs by 60%. Those savings are now funding better medical equipment and staff training. Beyond economics, the environmental benefits are transforming urban landscapes. Skylines once shrouded in smog are clearing as diesel generators fall silent. Carbon emissions in test cities have dropped sharply, aligning with global climate goals. But perhaps the most profound impact is the newfound hope in communities. Women in Senegal are launching textile businesses with reliable electricity for their workshops. Tech hubs in Rwanda are incubating innovations, no longer throttled by erratic power. The generator's low maintenance needs are also sparking local job growth. Young engineers are being trained to install and service the systems, building valuable skills. This isn't just about energy, it's about rewriting Africa's development story. Critics once said renewable energy was too costly or impractical for the continent. Maxwell's generator is proving them wrong, one city at a time. As more governments adopt this technology, energy independence seems within reach. The vision is clear, a future where no African child's education is cut short by darkness, where clinics deliver babies under steady, unwavering light, where entrepreneurs can compete globally without energy as a handicap. This is the promise of Maxwell's generator, not just power, but possibility. The journey has just begun, and the road ahead is bright. Every kilowatt generated is a step toward a sustainable, empowered Africa. The question isn't whether this technology will change lives, it already is. Now, the challenge is ensuring it reaches every community that needs it. With the right investments and policies, that future is closer than we think. Africa's energy revolution isn't a dream. It's happening and Maxwell's generator is leading the charge. The lights are coming on, and this time, they're here to stay. Picture a single innovation quietly rewriting the destiny of an entire continent. Maxwell's generator isn't just producing electricity. It's creating waves of change across Africa. In Ghana, a rural school once closed by 6 p.m. now hosts night classes under bright LED lights. Teachers report student performance improving as study hours double without candlelight limitations. Farmers in Malawi are using the generator steady power to run irrigation systems year-round. What used to be one seasonal harvest has become three, lifting families out of food insecurity. The technology's adaptability shines in the Sahel, where hybrid solar kinetic units defy harsh droughts. Communities that once migrated for survival are now building permanent, powered villages. Urban transformation is equally striking. Johannesburg's township factories now rival industrial parks. Manufacturers who spent 40% of profits on diesel can finally compete in international markets. A silent revolution is unfolding in healthcare as vaccine refrigerators maintain perfect temperatures. 
Midwives in remote clinics no longer deliver babies by phone flashlight. Maternal mortality rates are plummeting. The environmental impact is measurable where entire districts have switched from generators. Lagos's air quality index improved 35% in generator-adopted zones within 18 months. Coastal cities are pairing the technology with desalination plants to solve water crises. Children in Mombasa now drink clean water from taps powered by ocean wave converters. The economic model itself is disruptive. Energy cooperatives are replacing centralized utilities. Women in Tanzania's energy collectives earn as much from selling power as from farming. Young engineers across the continent are modifying the open source design for local conditions. A Nairobi startup recently created a version powered by marketplace foot traffic. The cultural shift is profound where electricity was once a government promise. Communities now see energy as a right they can control, not a favor to await. Investors are noticing renewable energy ventures in Africa attracted $7 billion last year. The generator's success is making global financiers reconsider risky African infrastructure projects. Education ministries are redesigning curricula around maintenance and innovation. Technical schools from Dakar to Dar es Salaam report tenfold enrollment increases. The technology's simplicity enables surprising adaptations in conflict zones. Refugee camps in the Horn of Africa now power schools with kinetic floors. Artisans in Burkina Faso craft generator parts from recycled metals. This localization slashes costs while creating circular economies. The political landscape is shifting as energy independence reduces resource conflicts. Regional power-sharing agreements are emerging where disputes once prevailed. Climate scientists note Africa's generator adoption is altering carbon projections. The continent could leapfrog to negative emissions by 2040 at current rates. Tourism is booming in ecologies powered silently by river currents. Conservationists use the tech to run anti-poaching sensors across vast parks. Perhaps most importantly, a new narrative is replacing old stereotypes. African innovators are now seen as global leaders in sustainable technology. The generator's open patents have sparked similar inventions worldwide. From Brazilian favelas to Himalayan villages, the African model is spreading. Back in Lagos, night markets hum with activity under solar kinetic hybrid lights. A grandmother smiles as her granddaughter's coding project wins a global prize. The unlit Africa of memory is fading like an old photograph. In its place rises something extraordinary, a continent powering its own renaissance. Maxwell's generator was never just about electrons. It's about rewriting what's possible when people control their energy future. The current surge of change is merely the beginning. Africa's light, once flickering, now burns bright enough to illuminate the world.